Wow, so I am super excited to bring you this video. It has been like two years in the making. Why has it been two years? Because I'm not very smart. I'm not very good at this Arduino stuff, but it's fun. It's really challenging. Uh, I'm not really good at writing codes. In fact, I suck at it. I take other people's codes and this code that I use for this project is from a lot of different people, but I got it from uh, YouTube Modern Builders. I'll put a card up there to the video. I'm going to show you how I set it up. Now, a lot of people show you how to set up uh, Arduinos on the breadboards, and that's great. It's really good for prototyping, but I'm going to show you how to do it on the layout without the breadboard. So it'll be, I'm going to show you exactly what pin goes to what wire and how it hooks up to the sensor. So Hopefully this helps you. It's going to be a really long video. Um, I'm going to put chapters in there and in the description below, I'm going to put timestamps of each chapter so you can fast forward through it uh, if you have a certain part you want to see. So I really hope you enjoy it. I'm super excited about this video and let's get our learn on. Okay, so what I wanted to show you here was um, what the finished product will look like It looks like a lot, but we're gonna walk through it and I'm gonna go through every step So you guys can see exactly how to do this for now. We'll go over all the products that I used and um, I'll put a link in the bottom uh, Where to find the all of them? Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty simple and pretty cheap So um, let's get into this. I'm gonna go over all these different products and uh, show you some of where the sensors are and what they do and how they work. What we're looking at now is the speedometer LCD display. Right here it has a little hello prompt here and you can put in whatever you want for it to say there. Right now it's letting me know that it's ready. Uh, we have three LEDs right here. Uh, these are optional you don't need them but I like to see at what stage it's at. It lets me know when it's ready, when it's green, when it's working, when the train is in between the sensors, and then at the top here the red is the wait. So it has a pause period. Um, right now it says it's ready. Also while it's working it does tell you here the same spots right there that it's in. If it's uh, ready, like it says now, uh, if it's working and then wait as you can see here it says started now it says wait and it tells you the speed that it's going at and you can change the wait time to whatever you want i have mine set for at least 10 cars at 15 miles an hour so it'll take a little while and there it goes to the ready state and it'll stay like this from now on it won't go back to that beginning page we have our power supply coming in from here and it goes into, this is a, a, um, a standard 2.2 millimeter power supply. It goes into Arduino Uno and from there we go to the block terminal where all of our wires will go out to our sensors. I'll show you real quick on what it looks like here where my power comes from and how it brings it up to here. So right now, this is the wire that comes from the Arduino Uno. It comes right into here. And I have these, the green and white are for my accessories. And uh, so my street lamps, uh, all my Arduinos come off of this five volt uh, system, goes into here, and then I have two, one, two uh, Arduinos up there. And then I can extend my system going that way through those terminals. Now we're going to follow our wires here towards the sensors. Just for demonstration purposes, there's my Arduinos. My wire comes here. It goes under here right now, but when I show my demonstration, I'm going to put it through these holes. And we come to this part. So, as you can see, I have my power, ground, power, 
and ground. And then this is to indicate that this sensor is yellow and this sensor is blue. So what I could do, and I will do it next time, is I'll take this power and this power and join them together here in this ground and this ground and join them together. So then I only have two wires going back instead of four. But the sensors have to stay different colors. Uh, so when we get back to the, other, the Arduino, we can know where they're going. One thing I want to note is this is covered because these are very light sensitive. And if sunlight hits it, it trips it. So I had to cover these just to test them. I took the cover off of this, but it was covered. And any time the light came in, it would trip both sensors and it would give a false reading. What I want to show you here is I drilled a hole here which I was going to use, but I decided not to. Uh, this will all be in a tunnel, so there won't be any light. But if you ever want to, I would, and I would suggest put them underneath here, so then there's less chance that uh, light will hit the sensor. Also, something else to see, I did solder each one of those. As you can see here, you got the VCC, which is power, ground, and your output, which is the sensor output. So I just want to get those up real close so you can see those. So I disconnected all the wires from the terminal block and the Arduino, cut the power off, still connected underneath though, took all the wires off the LCD screen. The only thing I didn't take off is right here, is all the ground wires for the LEDs which again like I said before you can splice these all together into one so you only have one wire running back but I didn't do that for this next time I will um, so that's the only thing I didn't disconnect so right now we're gonna go through I'll bring you up closer and I'll show you where each wire goes and I'll correlate it to the sketch that um, will be linked to those to the uh, in the description below. So what I'm going to do first is hook the power up. And something I want you to learn from me that I I messed up on. I bought this from eBay. <clears throat> Great product. It has a bunch of different colors, uh, but this is stranded wire. They also sell solid wire, which I would recommend the solid wire. Um, and I'll show you why in a second here. So I have my wire here. As you can tell, it's stranded. And what we're going to do is place this wire, which it says 5 volt right there. And if you had the solid wire, it would slide in here a lot easier. Not saying that this doesn't. That fits in pretty well. But I would just think that the solid wire would be better. And we're going to put this into the ground. With this stranded wire, you have the, the ability to push one of those little strands into the adjacent power and, and uh, make a fault. As you can see on the left side here, I have the power, the negative, signal 1, and signal 2. So I'll hook the negative up first. And then the power. Now we have power to the terminal block. We'll move on to hooking up the LEDs and sensors next. So here's our LEDs. We have the red, yellow, and green. Again, these are our stranded wires. As you can see here, we have all these numbers up and down the side here. We'll be using those numbers. Number 13 is yellow. So all I gotta do is make sure that's nice. So 13 is yellow. We'll put our yellow right into here. Our next one will be red, which will be number 11.
And the last one is green, will be number 10. This follows a sketch exactly. That one pushed out a little bit, so I didn't want it to touch the others. All right, so we have yellow, which is 13, red is 11, and green is 10. Next thing I want to do is hook up our LCD to our Arduino. As you can see here, we have a ground, a VCC, which is power, an SDA, and an SCL. The SCL and the SDA are the power to make the, uh, or are the uh, program pins to show the uh, display what to say. So what I'm gonna do is we will hook up the red to the power, the ground to black, the SDA to gray, and the SCL to white. So that's all you got to do to hook up those. When you order the LCD screen, make sure it comes with this little power pack here. Some don't and some do. Uh, it's just easier to do it this way or else you'd have to wire every single pin here and you don't want to do that. And also this jumper wire here is very important to have on here because it lights up the screen. Otherwise it's dark and you can't see the letters. So as you can see here, we have the SCL and the SDA. So all we're going to do is hook up from the uh, monitor LCD screen. We're just going to hook those up to the corresponding plugs. So our SDA is gray and our SCL is white. Excuse my hand. So we got those two in there and that should hook up the screen monitoring system to the screen with those two. And now we'll just take the power and ground and hook them up to the power and ground here. So I'll take this power and this, this power and this ground and hook them up to the score corresponding areas there. I got the SDA and the SCL hooked up and my power and ground going through here to our power and ground there. So we got our LCD hooked up totally. We got our power hooked up. And next we have to hook up our signals. So we're going to put our signals in now. Yellow will be 5. So we'll put that into 5. And blue will be 4. And all we're going to do is hook up the yellow to one of these terminals and the blue to the other one. It doesn't really matter as long as it comes out the same on the other side. And these are all from the sensors like I showed you before. So we'll take our power since it's the farthest away. Put that in there. The ground goes to the ground. And we want to make sure the yellow goes to the yellow sensor wire. And the blue goes to the blue. And that's pretty much all you have to do to set it up. I'll plug this in here. 
all the lights come on now we have power all right one last look at this it looks like a mess but uh, it's as organized as I feel like I could get it um, we got the power coming in we got the power here and the ground here going to the power and ground and that'll go to power and ground out to the sensors we have our LEDs right here the green yellow and red coming from your LEDs going into yellow which is 13 red is 11 and green is 10 and we have the wires coming off of here off of the LCD which the um, SDA is gray SCL is white and goes from SCL to SCL SDA to SDA um, and then we have our sensors the yellow is 5 and the blue is 4 and that goes yellow ye yellow yellow blue blue and it goes out to our sensors clear as mud all right good I wanted to swing you over I didn't move the camera I just swung you around and I want to show you the wires going out so we got the yellow the blue here and the yellow goes over there I want to show you how to adjust these once you get them all set up I can put my hand here and nothing's gonna happen because you have to change the potentiometer here and that adjusts it oh. the green is when it's activated so you want to back off just enough so now when the train goes by it'll activate it so I always turn it up to where it's activated and back off a little bit and then now it's activating and I'll do the same thing with the other side. Well now we'll see if all the work we did ended up working out correctly and everything's working how we want it to. Let's send a train through and see what it does. Got a train going through. It started, we're yellow. And the train exits. And it says wait and it gives us a miles per hour. So it looks like everything's working well. Thank you everybody. I really enjoyed making this video. I had a lot of fun with it. I learned a lot and I hope you did too. If you have any questions, please contact me down below. I'm going to put the sketch, I'm going to pin it to the uh, comments section and I'll put it in the, uh, the about more uh, section there. So if you have any questions, again, contact me. I'll be more than happy to try to help you. And remember, it makes sense if you don't think about it.